All right, hey everybody, how you doing? This is Eric Parker with One Number, and for today's Tableau tutorial, what I wanna do is to look at how you can highlight an entire row in a Tableau worksheet, much in the same way that you can highlight an entire row in Excel. Uh, so you can see with this worksheet that I've got here that uh, currently I've got rows highlighted, but I am limited to highlighting just the measures, right? I'm using a highlight table, so my mark type is square, and I have the profit field on the color tab in the marks card. Um, but one big thing you'll notice that's different than Excel, for instance, is that the header is not highlighted, right? Tables isn't highlighted. So there's no way with a default uh, highlight table like this that I can get those headers to also change colors like the individual squares or the measures. However, with a little bit of creativity, we can get that to happen. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new worksheet. All right. And I'm going to set this up uh, similar to that first worksheet in that I'm going to put subcategory on the row shelf. Um, now, here's where things are going to get a little bit different. Uh, first of all, let me go ahead and show header there again. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a calculated field and it's just going to be name one. And what's going to be in it? Just the number one. Okay, and I'm gonna put the max of one on the column shelf three times. Now the way I'm getting max to show up like that, just when I drag and drop one to the column shelf, is just a right click and drag. To save a little time, I could also just control drag max one once I have it at least once, and it will just create copies of it. All right, so what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna have this first section is gonna be for subcategory, the section second section is for uh, sales and the third section will be for profit. So what I'll do is I'm gonna right click and edit my axis. I'm gonna rename this section to be subcategory. All right. And <laughs> I'm struggling to spell here. And I'm gonna take my tick marks, um, set them to none, and I'm gonna fix my axis range from zero to one. Okay, I'm also gonna increase the size of my bars so they're as wide as possible. So now I'll just do that same thing for the next two sections as well. I'm gonna right click, edit axis, fix my range from zero to one, rename my axis, whatever this will end up being. So let's say sales. And again, tick marks will be set to none. And uh, make sure my size is maxed out as well. And one more time for the third column, right click, edit, uh, fix between zero and one, and rename this one profit, no tick marks, and I'll max out my size. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, uh, a few things. So I'm gonna go to the first one section of my marks card, now I'm gonna get subcategory and drop this on the label tab in the marks card. I'm also gonna select this now and set the alignment to left so that the text is left aligned. Now I'm gonna to go to the second uh, max of one in my marks card. And here I'm gonna put sales on color in the marks card, right? I'm sorry, it shouldn't go to sales, it should actually go to label. All right, and then for the third section, that's where I'm gonna drop profit on label. Okay. So now I'm gonna go back to the all section of the marks card and a couple key things that we'll do here. Uh, I am going to go to the color tab in the marks card and add borders around all of these sections. I'll just add white borders. And then I'm gonna get profit and drop that on color. All right. And now I can right click on subcategory on my row shelf and deselect show header. And that original header will go away. From here, now it's just a matter of doing a little bit of formatting. So now I'm able to highlight my entire rows. So if somebody was to ask a question like, um, I don't know, let's say, uh, which subcategories are unprofitable? Now I can easily see that by just looking for those orange rows and, you know, more similar to Excel, my headers are highlighted as well. So last few things will probably just be formatting, cleaning up your tool tips, things of that nature. Uh, but, you know, I think for the most part, this is where we want it. So thanks for following along with this little tutorial about how to get an entire row highlighted in Tableau. Uh, we'll look forward to catching you on another video soon.